Hey guys, I'm Sarah and today I'm doing another Made by Mommy craft challenge. I may look totally the same as I did in another video, which is the Caramel Apple Soap tutorial that I recently posted. Well, that's because I'm filming this intro right after I filmed the soap intro. In this video, I am going to open this box that I got in the mail from Made by Mommy from Kim. I don't know what's in here at all. Bam! Made by Mommy September Craft Challenge. If you guys didn't see the craft challenge from last month, I'll put that link to the video in the description box below. So in this box, there are some craft supplies and they are mystery supplies because I don't know what they are. So myself and a handful of other crafty channels here on YouTube have received the same items and we all have to make something with these. And they're all going to turn out totally different because we're not talking to each other at all. We have no clue what we're going to make or what anyone else is making. So that's what makes this really exciting. Let's see what's in here. Tissue paper. I'm going to not throw this on the ground so my cat doesn't bite it and eat it. And I might be able to use it. Okay, so this is a box lid, a cardboard box lid for gift wrapping supplies. I have some of these actually up here in my storage. Spongy material. Duct tape. I see duct tape. You don't see it yet, but look at this. Blue and yellow duct tape. Finger paints! Oh my gosh. Flashback to the So Craftastic finger painting tutorial. I wish I had that unicorn helmet on right now. A restickable book cover and shelf liner. Crayons and a glue stick and a marker and is that a hair curler? Oh, there's two of them. Some coffee filters. I'm lucky I know what these are because I actually don't drink coffee. Don't kill me. Ooh. Ibu popsicle sticks. There must have been some left over from last month. Some really pretty blue plastic cups. And is this a sock? Two socks? Bam. Oh, some glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so weird seeing all these lines. How do people wear these everywhere? 32 sheets of construction paper. This is so hard to see. Okay. Look at all the colors. More tissue paper and more tissue paper. And of course the box, which can also be used <laughs> as a craft supply. So I'm gonna read this while I have these glasses on. It's not that bad, all right. You can use clear tape and glue from home, but no other craft materials may be added to your projects. Okay, you don't need to use everything in the box. So everything I just showed you, I only have to use at least four of those things. You can use the box, that's what I thought. And feel free to use your own scissors, but no tools that require electricity and safety first. This is protective eyewear that Kim included for us, and it's also for her amusement. So I hope you're amused. I hope everyone is amused. Film the unboxing, crafting process, and of course the end results. Rule six, have fun. The difference between this craft challenge and the one I previously did is I'm actually going to go eat dinner now and work on some other YouTube videos that I need to get because Crafty Friday has to happen. In the meantime, in the midst of that, I'm gonna take a couple days to like figure out what I'm doing and work on stuff. So the next time you see me on camera, I'll probably be in a different outfit. I will, yeah. Bye for now, but I'll see you soon. I've been thinking about this for a couple days and I gathered my scissors and glue and clear tape that I'm allowed to use. What I have come up with, I think, is to do a table with a cake on it. I was, oh, I was playing around with this stuff and I took out the cups and put them under the box lid like this and it looked like a table. Then I put this duct tape roll on top and I took one of the finger paint containers out. So I think I'm going to cover the tabletop with brown construction paper and then cover one of the rolls of duct tape after I take the duct tape off so I can reuse it with this sock. This is the plan, table with a cake, go. First, I'm taking the box lid and I'm going to reinforce it with some duct tape. I'm doing that to all four corners. Now comes the super time consuming part. I'm gonna cover this box lid with brown construction paper. So you can see that I traced the paper with a brown crayon and that's for the top of it, which I'm going to put on after I tape on all the sides, which I folded over and I taped on the inside as well as on the outside with clear tape from my own collection, which was allowed. Then using Elmer's glue, I glued on the 
top piece. Then I worked on wrapping paper around all four of the cups to have table legs. And this is definitely not the best looking craftsmanship because I used the blue tape on it. I tried to hide it on the inside. But anyway, that's what it looks like with the legs. And I moved on to starting the cake. For the cake, I used the inside of the blue tape roll. So I put all of the blue tape onto the yellow roll so I wouldn't waste it. And I taped on a circle from the cardboard box that was given to me. And then I took the sock and I'm going to put the sock onto that cardboard piece. And I am going to cut and cut some slits and then tie that and tuck them into the base of the tape. Here I'm making a rug kind of, just kind of a place to set the table. So I wanted a darker blue piece of paper and I used finger paint to do this. Then with the excess finger paint, since I want to use a container for the top of the cake, I just put that in a, in a container. For the candle, I cut a little piece of the popsicle stick and glued a orange construction paper flame onto it. And then I just put some dots on with permanent marker. And here you can see what I'm using to decorate just a little bit on top of the table. I cut some of the, um, the foam from the curler and it has these little hoops that come out of it, which is kind of cool. And then I took the plastic baggie and I put some tissue paper inside and just twisted it to make little candy shapes or candies that are on the table. I also put a little bit of confetti and a placemat for the cake. You can also see that I decorated the cake by gluing different pieces of construction paper on. I have dots on top and flowers on the bottom and then those yellow balls are actually just little wads of tissue paper. This here is my finished cake on a table, and I think it turned out pretty cute. Now for probably the most exciting part of this video, all of the other people who participated. So here are some of the thumbnail images from their videos, and I'm going to put a link to a playlist where you can watch all those videos in the description box of this video. Again, check out those videos, and thank you for letting me be a part of this challenge once again. Kim from Made by Mommy and her channel will be linked below as well. And tell them something that you like about what they made. You don't need to go around comparing other people's projects saying, well, I like this one better than this one, unless you can do it in a nice way. It wasn't actually a challenge where we're competing with each other. It's just one to kind of challenge ourselves into making something with a really limited amount of materials and ones that we didn't really have a lot of time to plan something from. I think the sock cake kind of reminds me of these squishy sponge cakes that I made a video for a year or two ago. It was something like that, but these are really cute and that's kind of what I thought about when I was like, oh, I'll put a cake on the table. If you didn't see the previous Made by Mommy challenge that I was a part of, this is what I made, spoiler alert, but you can watch that video. I'll put the link in the description box. So basically everything is in the description box, even the links to my social media pages, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Crafty Amino, those things. This guy got me so much more controversy than I was expecting. I really was actually happy with this and it was something that I was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty, I'm going to hang it up on my walls, but no. So hopefully you guys like this cake, but I could be totally wrong in expecting, you know, that you'll think that this is better. The thing that matters at the end of the day is that I am happy with these two things and honestly, even though I think more of you might like the cake and think it's more creative, I honestly like my bow better than this project for the fact that I think it's beautiful and that I'm going to actually use it. I think with this one, I don't even know what I'm going to do with the table. I honestly might recycle it and then just keep the cake for decoration because the cake's kind of cute. So I think it might be fun to have kind of a discussion or debate in the comments of this video. Let me know if you like this project or this project better and also kind of how you define arts and crafts, 
what you think makes an art or craft good or better than another. Is it the amount of time you take? Is it the passion that you put into it? Is it how much you personally like it or how much other people personally like it? You can really talk about anything you want. Something that I noticed is that a lot of people said because my bow is a two-dimensional project that it wasn't as good as other people's just because it wasn't 3D and they didn't think it was as creative, which, oh my gosh, there were so many creative people in last month's craft challenge and there's probably like everyone super creative in this one as well. But I don't think that it was really nice to be like, oh my gosh, you were just totally disrespecting the challenge and totally like disregarding all the items that you could have used and I wish I had those items so why didn't you use them? It's honestly because this is what I felt in my heart to make and the other items were not calling to me and were not inspiring me at the time. There were plenty of other projects that I thought of after the video was filmed that I could have made, but you know, I'll just keep those in mind for future videos and it also allows you guys to open up your creativity more because I did ask you in that video, you know, what you would make with the items if you had them. So the same for this video, what would you have made if you were given the mystery box of stuff? I want to know. To tie the discussion up, I basically want to let you guys know that it is perfectly okay if you don't like something to give constructive criticism and maybe say, well, you could have done this better or added this here or this is how I would have done it, you know, in a nice way. You don't want to go around to people and beat them down for something that they actually did put time into. I am flattered if you guys think that I made this in 20 minutes, but in reality it took me hours to plan. Even though it was one day, that was a challenge I was giving myself. I'm like, I'm going to sit down with this box, not know what it is, and just go to town and have it done by the time I go to sleep, which I was filming until like midnight for that video. I was past my bedtime. For this one, I definitely put more time into it, kind of to see how far I could take it and step out of my comfort zone per se and just do something like totally different than you would normally see on my channel because I try to do more practical things. So constructive criticism, good. Bringing someone down and telling them that you're gonna unsubscribe because you didn't like one video of theirs is pretty funny and like it didn't bother me really because I actually like this stuff and you know, I don't put out things that I'm not proud of and don't approve of. So, you know, it's just like, I don't understand why people are so negative and when I was that way and I was that way when I was younger, I was a lot more negative and I was so unhappy when I was negative. So I just want to let you guys know if you guys are more happy in life and like you don't really judge people as much, that doesn't mean you can't give them criticism every once in a while, but if you are just like more open-minded to things and try to understand things that you don't necessarily understand, you don't necessarily get. For instance, something I don't get really is, you know, there are art pieces that sell for millions of dollars that probably didn't take a long time to create and they're literally like a black canvas with like a white splatter or stripe on it. You know, I don't get that, but I'm not gonna go to the artist and be like, oh my god, that sucks because that is not helping them in any way and it's not helping you in any way. So this kind of turned into like a philosophical deep discussion here but that's all I really want to say or this video is going to get super super long which it probably already is. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Smile and I'll see you very soon. Bye.